<laughs> Load it up. Another day in the hangar. Yeah. All right. Good morning, people. It is currently 6.40 a.m. local. I don't know how you can see that. 6.40 a.m. local time. About to go drive to pick up Josh and Enoch. Then we'll grab some food, head to the airport, and let's go flying. I woke up so excited today because I haven't been flying in a long time, and I've missed it so much. So today's going to be a good one. Let's see what happens today. <laughs> All right. <laughs> good morning, everyone. The sun's actually out. Right now, it's about 8.15. Enoch, how are you feeling, sir? I'm feeling good. Josh, yeah. you hungry? No. <laughs> <laughs> We're just getting some, let me see. I got my coffee. What do you got, Enoch? You got a milkshake? Uh, milkshake. What do you got over there, Josh? So. We're just grabbing something before we hit the road. Got to get ourselves caffeinated before we start flying, but the weather's looking good. You know, how cold are you? It's so cold, I don't like it. And you're drinking a milkshake, but that's fair because I'm drinking an iced coffee. But we're about to hit the road, head over to Daytona, and we'll be there in probably about an hour. All right, what's up, guys? Um, this is Josh, the awkward white guy, currently driving through God's greatest county, uh, Seminole <laughs> County, Florida. <laughs> I love toll roads, I love them. Um, we're heading out of K-Dab, we're flying down to uh, K-Tix and we'll be doing some pattern work. I'm going to jump out of the plane to do some filming work for them and also to volunteer at the VAC Warbur Museum. You should volunteer too, but regardless, uh, we'll see you in the air. There it is, folks. The Harvard of the skies! <laughs> Emery Riddle, baby. <laughs> and then we have the the thing where you go on a car. Oh, look at the plane. You, have a, you, have a, you go in a circle for like oh, right 10 hours. All right, well, we're here. Let me check my watch. 9.30, it's about 9.30. They're inside. Leaving the car, where they hop in the plane and hopefully half an hour from now we'll be on the taxiway lining up for takeoff and we'll be on the way to Titusville. Let's see what happens. Hey look, it's okay to tow. Is it right there? Yeah, it's okay to tow, we can take it. How's it going, Enoch? Good. Uh, I still have to pay for gas. We're not paying, I think we do have a membership, so we can take any amount of want. Can we fill our car up with this stuff? <laughs> <laughs> it's a great day to go for. Master on. Yep. Master on. There you go. Ease your part in. In. It hasn't been five minutes and they already called the wrong frequency. So pretty surprisingly, it's very noisy inside of a small general aviation aircraft. And unfortunately, we didn't have the jacks to record our conversations mid-flight. I even tried recording a voice memo mid-flight, but it was too loud. You could barely make out what I was saying. But regardless, this is the leg of the flight where we head from Daytona Beach to Titusville. We get some pretty beautiful views of Kennedy Space Center. You should be seeing, we flew right along the uh, restricted airspace. Not in it, not in it FAA, but yeah, we're gonna land and head over to the Valiant Air Command Warbird Museum in uh, Titusville.
At this point, I jumped out of the plane to do some volunteer work while Andrew and Enoch took the plane up to do some pattern work. And now, this. And now. Airbus helicopter EC-225, ignore what that says, I'm too lazy to edit it. Alright, just knocked out some really good pattern work with Enoch back there. Uh, the last couple landings were really good. I'm about to check out the restoration hangar. You felt Those good? Those landings was great. The good. last three landings. I was really happy with that. It was butter on center line in the touchdown zone right where I needed it to be. All right, Josh, what's happening in the restoration hangar? Tell us. So we have the F5, the DARPA sonic boom test demo that's being Corrosion work's being done on that. Working on the cockpit and glass for the Fuga. Okay. And the 337, not sure. But that's getting ready to wrap up. Cool. So, another day in the hangar. There we go. All right, what's up, y'all? We're bringing Josh's camera equipment back to the plane. It is about to be noon, so it's gonna be just over half an hour. So there's no time for pattern work and maneuvers, I think, but we can at least go straight back to Daytona. So we're gonna throw the uh, stuff in the plane, load it up, and we'll take off and go that way da, 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 da. are you ready for departure sir he's always ready Vasha, still Vasha. oh my god Vasha. he's got some water we have cup holders in this thing i hope we paid for the cup holder fee i don't know if this thing came with one fire
what's up boys we made it back to daytona in one piece josh how was the flight <laughs> um <laughs> that was a trip back so i kind of did all the work yeah Mr. Josh, how does it feel to be done with the flight? Well, you know, it's pretty, <laughs> it's pretty crazy to go one place every week for a couple months, then to just, you know, fly in. Show up in a Cessna, we toss yeah, you out, yeah. we go back up, <laughs> come back down later, and we're back in Daytona. You know, I really think that uh, three hours later it really says something about, you know, the profession. It's uh, can't take it for granted. I know, it's something else. We never take the it for granted. The ability to live your whole life on the ground and then see it from the air is, yeah. is it, it doesn't feel like it should be real. I know. Enoch, what are your thoughts concluding the flight? Uh, we were a very good size. We did, uh, Oh, yeah. and, and cold. Yeah, so, and so it was a good flight. Hey, do you guys know how many grams of protein are in an airplane? That's actually a very good question. How many grams of protein are in an airplane? How do you know? Here, so I can be next to you know. Debrief, debrief. We want to show them what it's like for actual Debrief, debrief, debrief. Debrief, debrief. This is a debrief, and this is why we do it. All right, folks, debrief. All right, it's debrief time. What's up, guys? We're back at Aviators Academy. We dropped off the keys. We just spent the past five-ish minutes debriefing our flight. Um, so we were 2.3 total of flight, and I was uh, PIC for this flight, but I have to say from the jump that I haven't flown in a while. So all a lot of the credit goes to Enoch. He made the reservation, and he was the one that was watching out for me uh, whenever there was some rust that was evident in my flight. So let's go through some of the debriefments. Again, 2.3 flying with a VFR flight falling to and from. Um, everything for the most part, I was quite satisfied with, with what I did. But here are the things that I need to work on and things that were noted. Um, when we were coming back to Daytona, I was a little bit low in altitude. So Enoch helped me make sure I was watching my altitude. It all boils down to instrument scan, not a problem. We were, you know, got better through the flight. Uh, in the pattern initially, I was making my turns a little bit too steep. Enoch was quick to correct me. After that, I never exceeded uh, 30 degrees of bank. And even then, when I first exceeded, it wasn't nothing too terrible, but still want to make sure we're safe. So we got that down. Um, there was a little bit of lack of awareness at one point in the pattern, uh, but air traffic control corrected us on that. We all re rectified the situation decently quickly, so it wasn't a problem. And then there were a couple of radio calls where I was task saturated with something. Again, this is all hand flying, uh, but regardless, I need to be sure that I'm able to do this on my own. So you know, I quickly stepped in on the radios whenever it was necessary. And then um, those are notes that I had written down, comments specifically from Enoch. Uh, you talked about the altitude and then tell them about my errors with my first two landings in the pattern. We did six landings total, one to drop Josh off at Titusville. In the pattern, we did four, just me and Enoch, and then one coming back to Daytona. So tell them about my first two landings and how you gave me that comment to improve the last two. Yeah, pretty much I'll say he's a safe pilot. He knows how to fly. So yes. I've been flying for so long. You, know, you got a private and insurance. Pretty much so the, the first thing so was on, on final, short final, you're coming too fast and then you had too much power. Yep. All you have to do was just to idle your power or to reduce your power. Or you could, uh, on final, if you could just keep your power at 1500, I think you were playing with yeah. the power too much. Because my eyes were out the power. wind and it should have been yeah. known airspeed, but your power settings, that kind of stuff. And then once you corrected that one, the... Oh yeah, last two were butter. Yeah, the last two was, <laughs> was, was pretty much good. I was quite happy with those. And the second thing for just the attitude of always check your TV. I don't know if you know this scanning with yep. TV. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah, just check your Check your TV. You know. All the time you should keep 3500. You're about to be commercial pilot. You should fly at commercial pilot standards. So Absolutely. 3500 is 3500. 3500 is 3500. And, and again, you know, good, good all, Travis songs, <laughs> Scott song too. <laughs> and and uh, yeah, that's pretty much our debrief. And you know, the reason why we're doing this specifically is that you know we're showing you guys that we're having a lot of fun, but you know we want to be safe. We want to promote safe piloting. And even though you're seeing all this fun stuff that the three of us are having, we want you to understand that there is a reason for it. There is a mission. And that we're practicing safe piloting habits and doing so you know it's very easy to watch these videos and think oh yeah you just strap yourself in and go have fun uh and and the realism of that is that's not true we are trained to be professional aviators who hold ourselves to a high standards and this is how we do it it's not glamorous sitting in a dark room for five or ten minutes going through every single detail but that's what you have to do as a professional pilot and this is just one way of doing that so josh any comments from you I'm gonna add Family Guy footage over oh this. My God. <laughs> oh, for the first time, is it? Yeah, I got, I got some music for all. For the music, or I'm sorry, the price. Uh, what are you gonna get the bill? 
for the flight. For, oh, right now. Like, right now. Yeah, I, I know I did the check-in online. Okay, let me know what it is. That way I can pay. You want cash, card, Zelle? Thanks for watching, folks. Monopoly, See you next one. Monopoly bucks. <laughs>